You know what I find extraordinarily interesting about living in the United States of America? I mean, I, honestly, I, I'm trying to think of how to introduce this story, but honestly, I don't even know. Like, it's just so ridiculous. How M&M's found itself in the culture wars. This is from the New York Times. The candy brand announced that Maya Rudolph, what a name, by the way, never heard of them before, would replace its promotional cartoon characters, which have been the focus of a partisan backlash. Okay, now, I don't know. In fact, honestly, I got to show you all this game. There is a video game on the Sony PlayStation that I love called M&M's Shell Shocked. It is a very interesting platforming game, but one of the funnest parts about it is that you play as the M&M characters and they say funny stuff. One of these days, I got to show that game to y'all on stream. It's been many years since I've played it. But, um, you know, so that's my only thing that I like about M&M's. I think the candy is bad. Uh, it's bad for you. I think a lot of the stuff that they do is cringy, but I like the PS1 game, Eminem Shellshocked. It's a good game. That said, the idea that the Eminems are being retired because a bunch of crybaby Republicans didn't know what else to cover that day and was like, let's just run with this. I mean, that's just fucking hilarious. Let's be honest. That is funny as fuck. Tucker Carlson did a whole news segment. A whole news segment about the green M&M being less sexy than she was 10 years ago. Right? And then the corporation is like, oh, let's listen to these freaks that are offended why about our candy not being sexy. M&M's, the ubiquitous candy brand owned by Mars, Wrigley announced on Monday that it would take an indefinite pause from the spokes candies, deciding that the cartoon characters with arms, legs, and minimal facial features were simply too divisive for a polarized America to take. If you were to develop a time machine, I want you to take this article back in time 10 years, 20, 30, 40, and tell them about a future where right-wingers cried and whined and canceled the m M&M mascots. Classic characters such as red, yellow, don't forget about blue. A lot of people forget about blue, not me. Green, purple, brown, classic characters, beloved in American households, but right-wingers canceled them. This is cancel culture, everybody. And I'm not trying to say that as some form of like a joke or a gotcha, but I mean, they literally canceled M&Ms. What the fuck? Like, I'm serious, what? They canceled M&M's. I mean, that's crazy. I don't know what to tell you. That's crazy. That's crazy. These freaks. Now, again, I'm down to cancel M&M's for a whole host of reasons, right? Type 2 diabetes is one of them. But the idea that they actually listen to right-wingers who did a news segment about how the M&M's are not fuckable anymore, they're listening to that guy? The characters which have featured in the company's ads for decades were not weighing in on abortion or the storage of classified documents, but figures on the political right, including Tucker Carlson of Fox News, have criticized the candy as woke M&Ms, owing to a series of cosmetic tweaks in recent years. Woke M&Ms. Why are they woke? They put on sneakers. I'm serious. 
They put on sneakers, folks. In the last year, we've made some changes to our beloved Spokes Candies. Spokes Candies. This is the world we live in. We weren't sure if anyone would even notice. Most people hadn't. We definitely didn't think it would break the internet. The company said few people thought that it had. Quote, but now we get it. Even a candy shoes can be polarizing. The company continued. Now, again, what we need to know here is that the candies are not polarizing. The shoes are not polarizing. None of this is real. Right-wingers had a slow news day. They didn't really know what to talk about. So they went through like the list of like random corporate newsletters and we're like, oh, let's just read the Mars Wrigley statement and talk about how unsexy the green M&M is. That's it. That's it. You know, it's just dumb motherfuckers. They didn't feel like talking about any real stories. You know, why would Tucker Carlson talk about, I don't know, homelessness? Why would Tucker Carlson talk about, I don't know, COVID? Why would Tucker Carlson talk about, I don't know, literally anything that matters? Let's talk about M&Ms. And then... Fast forward a year later, and they're literally getting rid of the Eminem's characters. I mean, this is insane. I mean, you want to talk about the power that the right wing has? When has the left wing ever gotten a win like this? When has the left wing ever successfully boycotted and bullied a corporation into changing something? Like, that shit never fucking happens, right? <laughs> But the right, they can actually pretend to be actually upset about a candy wrapper not having sexy shoes. And it actually works. So, I think that's hilarious. You could read the rest of this. I don't know who Maya Rudolph is, to be honest with you. Got no idea. Um, But uh, I'm pissed. Yellow is my favorite character, by the way. Just thought I would throw that out. Um, but damn, what a sad day in the USA. Sad, sad day.